Welcome to our QR video sequence. I am the owner here and one of the lead developers of this product. Hopefully we're going to teach you a little bit about building with a Woody Log building system. We appreciate you watching and hopefully you're going to learn something about building your dream log cabin. When we intersect a frame wall to the outside log walls, there's a couple of things that we got to talk about. When we put a frame wall, and most of the designs have our frame wall, meaning an interior wall, will butt into our vertical log. In that case, our king stud next to the wall, we can fasten that, nail gun or whatever, we can fasten that firmly. When we have a frame wall that's going to intersect an outside log wall, we got to let these logs move. So they got to compress and move with that spring-loaded tension system that we have in here. The way we accomplish that before we put the king stud on the wall, cut a saw slot in it, about two blades width. Okay, maybe six inches long or so. Then is what we'll do, instead of nailing that, we will use a two and seven eighths timber lock screw with a washer, and we're gonna screw that into the log. Just, just snug, just snug. And the reason for that is now if this log wants to move down, Remember, these logs are going to move over time, depending on where you live, where the home is built, because wood is always moving, so we're going to let it move. And what happens when this log maybe wants to push down, this screw will slide in this slot we put here and allow that log to go down un unimpeded. So the question's going to be, okay, what about that wall? How is it fixed? Well. This, we, they're usually tied in with ceilings and so far. That's plenty of rigidity to keep the side to side or lateral movement out of it. Now we'll only fasten it once up on top. On the bottom, you can nail it into the bottom log because that's not going to move. But on the top, let that move. Cut a slot, uh, saw uh, slot in there. Again, maybe eighth, three sixteenths wide, something a little wider than a saw blade a washer and a headlock screw and you're all set for that uh, wall that's going to intersect uh, log walls between your verticals. Again, we got to let those move. So little tip for you, when a design calls for a wall intersecting the wall logs, just make sure you do that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you've been entertained a little bit. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about the Woody Log Building System. The reality is anybody can do it. We've given you a little bit of a helping hand through our QR series and our initiative. If you have any further questions, contact us at the information listed.